Well, I caught up with the Prime Minister, David Cameron, after he had led the march in that early phase, and I asked him how it had felt. It was very moving. I mean, the size of the crowd was absolutely unbelievable. But also these signs, I think the one I will remember the most is the one that says, Je suis Charlie, je suis flic, I'm a police officer, and je suis juif, I'm a juif, I'm a Jew. And I think it's very meaningful, very moving to see people of all ages saying, I want to be, and I am absolutely showing solidarity with those people who've suffered. So would you say, Je suis Charlie, I mean, you stand with those cartoons? Absolutely. I stand, look, I stand with the freedom of speech and the freedom of expression. It's very important in our countries that we have a freedom. You are allowed to offend people. People might not agree with something. There's often things I see I don't agree with. Um, but there we were, walking down uh, the Rue de Voltaire, and Voltaire, as Voltaire said, you know, I, I may not agree with you, but I will defend with my life uh, you're right to say that. So you wouldn't criticise British media if they reproduced those cartoons or things like them? I think it's very important that Prime Ministers and politicians don't tell newspapers and publications what to publish and what not to publish. My view is very clear. I believe in the freedom of speech and the rule of law. So if it is legal for someone to do something, if they want to do it, it is their choice. Obviously, newspapers, magazines, television programmes, you have to exercise your editorial discretion, but it's your discretion, it's not my discretion, it's not for me to tell you what to publish or what not to publish. My job as a politician, as a Prime Minister, is to uphold the rule of law, the freedom of speech and freedom under the law. Is Britain next? Are you about to raise the threat level? Well, I don't prepared? raise the threat level. In our country we do things uh, very properly. We have a joint terrorism assessment centre. It sets the threat level. It is currently at severe, which means that they believe uh, that an attack is highly likely. There's only one level of threat above that, which is uh, when it goes to critical, and that actually means that uh, there's an imminence about an attack. But let's be frank, we have had attacks in our country. We've had attacks very recently averted in our country by superb work by the police uh, and intelligence services. So we have to keep making sure we do everything we can to keep our level of preparedness uh, high and, and to make sure uh, that we invest in, in in those vital services and we all have a role in terms of uh, being very vigilant. Do British police need to be armed routinely now? Well we have I think a good system in our country where there are a large number of police who are armed who need those weapons but we don't routinely arm uh, every policeman on the beat. I think the balance we have is about right you know if you look at counter-terrorism policing if you look at armed response we have those um, those officers available. Just looking at the people you were marching with, did any of it stick in the craw? You know, Egyptians, Russians, on a freedom of speech march? Well, I think people wanted to come and show their solidarity, and I don't think it's a day for starting to sort of pick out uh, which leader runs which country with the greatest record on human rights and all the rest of it. I think it's good that other leaders wanted to be here to express their solidarity uh, with the French people, with the French government. I think we feel that very strongly because as you know, neighbouring countries, as partners going back for decades, we have a very similar approach and very similar values, freedom under the rule of law, and I wanted to be here to show show my solidarity and I also wanted to reassure Francois Hollande that we will work incredibly closely together in terms of security and intelligence uh, cooperation and we must learn all the lessons and any lessons there are to learn from this most recent attack. Was this your first demonstration? No, I've been on uh, demonstrations in the past, but <laughs> way back in, in, uh, in, in history. I've been in demonstrations in my own constituency, but I've never been on a demonstration quite of this size or quite of this nature. It was a very, very moving occasion.